The moon, our celestial neighbor, a silent beacon of hope, has fascinated humanity for centuries. But recently, it's become the battleground for an epic race, a race to claim our place amongst the stars. The contenders? Two of the world's most powerful nations, the United States and China. Echoes of the 1960s and 70s space race between the United States and the former Soviet Union fill the air, but today the players are different and the stakes are much higher. Both countries are preparing to leave footprints on the lunar surface, the US by 2025 and China just a few years later by 2030. And they're not planning to just visit, they're aiming to stay. China's space agency recently confirmed these ambitions, but left us guessing on specific dates. A clever strategy? Maybe. Or perhaps it's just a calculated move in the high-stakes game of cosmic chess. China's Tiangong space station, completed in November, serves as a stepping stone for these grand designs. But that's not all. Just recently, China launched the Shenzhou 16, carrying a fresh crew to the Tiangong station. You are watching live footage on the launch of the Shenzhou 16 spacecraft to China Space Station. The mission? To carry out experiments and prepare the station for its moon missions. And as for the crew, they're not all soldiers. For the first time, a civilian is on board. Gui Heichao, an aerospace professor, joins the mission commander Jing Heipeng and spacecraft engineer Zhu Yangzhu, who's their resident payload expert. China has come a long way since its first manned mission in 2003. What was once a club of just two, the USSR and the US, now includes its third member, China. Yet this space rivalry doesn't just stop at lunar missions. Both the US and China have rovers exploring the Martian surface, and China plans to follow the US in landing a spacecraft on an asteroid. But China might need to scoot over a bit because the stage is starting to get crowded, with India, the United Arab Emirates, Israel, and the European Union also planning their own lunar missions. And remember those moon buggies from the Apollo missions? Well, China is developing its own version, hoping to not only cruise around on the lunar landscape, but do so remotely with rovers that can be controlled from Earth. As of right now, the United States still has a lead in this race. The US leads in spaceport numbers by quite a long shot and enjoys a much broader network of international partners. But the Chinese program, steady, cautious, and reflective of its growing global influence, is starting to catch up. As we venture further into the cosmos, one thing is certain. The race is on. Who will get there first, and who will stay the longest? The answers to these questions may shape the future of humanity. As for the United States' goals vis-a-vis -vis the moon, it has its eyes set on the lunar south pole. The reason? It's believed that permanently shadowed craters could harbor precious resources such as water. The moon's south pole is known to be far more plenty with these sorts of permanently shadowed craters. And while the establishment of a permanent crewed base on the moon is a shared dream between both the United States and China, it does raise questions about rights and interests on the lunar surface and potential territorial disputes. As China's economic power and global influence rise, so do its space ambitions. It's a reflection of the country's remarkable transformation since the 1980s. This new space race is more than just a competition. It's a symbol of humanity's insatiable desire to explore, to learn, and to push the boundaries of our existence. And whoever wins it might just win it all.